Police Department. I'd like to speak to Lieutenant Colombo, please. Mrs. Williams? Mrs. Williams? What is it? I got the telephone call. I came right over. I didn't call you. Well, I know that. It was your stepdaughter, Margaret. How did you get in here? Well, she said she was going to leave the door open. I don't understand. Why? Why did she call you? She said she had something to show me. Oh. Oh. Margaret? Margaret! You want me? Yes! Lieutenant Colombo is here to see you. No, I think he's here to see both of us. Are you? I thought he might like to know that I found these keys. My father's key ring. And in your bedroom. Margaret, you say these are your father's keys? Lieutenant, could you explain the importance of these keys? It isn't at all clear to me. Well, you see, Mrs. Williams, it goes like this. Uh, the keys were not in the car, and they were not in your husband's body, so we were wondering what happened to him. My father was never kidnapped. He came home that night and you killed him. Oh, Margaret, Margaret, you really don't know what you're talking about. Yes, do I do. Oh, Lieutenant, I can't do anything with it. It's true. You, you, you killed him. It's true, so Lieutenant. Better. You know, it's true. Now, wait a minute. Just one moment. Go sit down. Sit down in that chair. Now, listen to me, Margaret. What you're saying might mean something except for one point. These are not your father's keys. Margaret, I've had the house watched, and you had a locksmith up here yesterday. And I've got an invoice of every duplicate key you had made. Now, I'm going to overlook what you did this time, but I want you to remember something. Forging evidence is a crime. But she killed him! There is no proof of that. She did it! I know it, and you know it, No, too. I don't know yes, it. Yes, you do! No, know I it. don't yes, know you it. Do. Young lady, don't you ever do that again. She think a thing like that, Lieutenant. I always knew that she resented me, but I never thought that she would go this far. I'm gonna have to tell you the truth, Mrs. Williams. Uh, I knew how she felt. You see, the uh, the fact is, is she came to me the other day and she told me that she thought you were involved. I told her it was a far-fetched idea. Yes, but you did manage to tell her about the missing keys. You never mentioned them to me. That wasn't among those little details that was bothering you so much. Well, now, Mrs. Williams, if by some remote chance your stepdaughter had been right, it wouldn't have been very smart for me to have told you, now would it? I understand. Good afternoon, Mrs. Williams. Lieutenant Colombo. Thank you for straightening Margaret out. I appreciate it. Oh, it was the only thing I could do. I mean, I just can't have you accused of murder on the wrong evidence. I know you did it. I know it. I think you ought to see a doctor, Margaret. Do you? Yes, I do. I think you're a very sick girl. You listening? Yes, but it's very difficult because I'm so sick. Margaret. Why don't you go back to Switzerland? I'll put you up at a hotel until school opens. I'm staying right here. You listen to me. You stay here only as long as you behave. One more little drama and I will not only cut off your allowance, I will tie up your estate. You will be on social security before you see a nickel of it.
Where will all your friends be then, Margaret, when you haven't the money to buy them anymore? Yes. Oh, uh, Mrs. Williams? Yes? This is Lieutenant Columbo. Uh, Mrs. Williams, I was wondering if I might drop by to see you. I got something to show you. I think you'll really appreciate it. It's for you. Some stunt, huh? You know, I remembered how you like gadgets. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. You know, something you could show at parties, something to amuse your friends with. Like that. Would you like to tell me how you did it? Oh, there was nothing to it. No, I got one of these special phones of yours. I got a tape machine, and I got a timer, and I rigged it up, and that was it. I'm very busy, Lieutenant. Would you like to tell me what this has to do with my husband's murder? Oh, you see, I can't get anything past you. You really got me pegged. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It just shows that your husband could have been dead at the time of the phone call, that his voice could have come from carefully edited tapes from your office. You know, Colombo, you're almost likable in a shabby sort of way. Maybe it's the way you come slouching in here with your shop-worn bag of tricks. Me? Tricks? The humility, the seeming absent-mindedness, the uh, homey anecdotes about the family, the wife, you know? <laughs> really? Yeah, Lieutenant Colombo fumbling and stumbling along. But it's always the jugular that he's after. And I imagine that more often than not, he's successful. I appreciate that compliment, Mrs. Williams. And I particularly appreciate it coming from you. I must tell you, I'm disappointed in you, Lieutenant. I'm really very disappointed. How's that? You've reduced yourself from veiled threats and insinuations to vaudeville. Now, what did you really expect to achieve by this tasteless stunt? Did you expect me to throw myself at your feet, confessing? No. No, I didn't think you'd do that. Well, then what good did it do? Well, I just added up with all the other details. And after a while, you're able to see what really might have happened. Might have, could have. Those aren't phrases that hold up in court. You'd be thrown out for lack of evidence. Yeah, but you know, justice is strange, Counselor. You know, with some people, it's not enough just to be acquitted. With some people, it's also necessary to convince the public by producing the guilty party as well. I'm familiar with the Perry Mason School of Justice, Lieutenant. It's not a bad tactic. Threaten to ruin my reputation by accusation, create a doubt about me. But then there's always the other side. I could always show that you were hounding me, maliciously persecuting me. You're playing a weak hand, Lieutenant. Either arrest me or get out of here. I'm gonna have to tell you the truth. The department took me off the case. It's just nothing concrete, nothing to give to a DA. There's a murder out in Malibu they want oh. me to look into. And you couldn't bear to leave without saying goodbye, huh? That's right. That's right. Yeah, after all that, I almost forgot to say it. Goodbye, Mrs. Wayne. Goodbye, Lieutenant. Just one more thing. <laughs>